for this lecture, we will be discussing the Laplace transforms. Now, I'll teach you the first shifting theorem. So basically, the transform of this form. At the moment, what you have solved so far or basically transformed so far are functions of t, purely f of t. That's it. Now, it's an f of t together with an e to the at. So this is called the first shifting theorem. So the functions of the form e to the at f of t, given the function f of t and assuming that its, that its Laplace transform is known such that the Laplace of the function of t is any function of s, that means the Laplace of e to the at f of t is simply f of s minus a. So what does that mean? Take note of this. I'll just show you a table here. What's the Laplace of k? You know this. It's k over s. What's the Laplace of e to the at? You already know this because these two basically are, these two are basically similar to the table I showed you earlier. Now in here, guys, what I want you to look at is this. Guys, can you please tell me what is the Laplace of this one? To the n plus one, right? And then the Laplace of cosine of kt. Can you please give me the Laplace of cosine of kt? k squared. And then lastly, the Laplace of sine of kt. So what you look at is the ones on the right and the ones on the left. According to the um, definition in here, the Laplace is in this form. The f of t is beside and e to the at. So look at this. You already have a t to the n, which is this one. But because there's an e to the at, you apply the first shifting theorem. So for every letter s, it becomes an s minus a. You know, s lang siya dito, di ba? It becomes an s minus a. So in here, for cosine kt, there's no problem. But then the cosine kt is beside an e to the at, so that means for every letter S, it becomes an S minus A. It shifts. So the sine KT, ang S niya nasa ilalim lang. So that's the only one affected by the A. Okay. So let us um, try applying that. First, let's just uh, look at the E's. This is the E. And that is the E. So if I would just take the Laplace of those, not with E, 3T cubed, and then the Laplace of uh, 4 cosine 5T. Can you please give me the Laplace? So here, I don't need the 3. I bring it out. Times what? S to the 4. Am I correct? Here, I don't need the 4. Bring it out. And then what happens? All right. But in here, guys, you notice that it shifted because it has an e to the negative t. So that means this one would be 3 times 3 factorial. And instead of s to the 4, what will it be, guys? s minus a. What is the a? s minus negative 1. So it becomes an s plus 1 to the 4. Minus 4 times what will be the numerator, guys? There's a shifting because there's an E. What's the A? 
S plus 3. Very good. What about the bottom? What will it be? The S plus 3 quantity squared plus 25. So if you want to arrange this, what's 3 factorial? That's 3 times 2 times 1. So that is 6 times 3. So you have 18 over S plus 1 raised to the 4 minus 4 times S plus 3 all over S plus 3 quantity squared plus 25. That is your function of S applying the first shifting theorem. So that means what I did first in here, this is the first step. And then I applied the first shifting theorem. Okay. So now let's try, guys. Um, write it. A is what? A is negative 3. Diba? N is 2. Be careful. So this one, that's simply 2. Because in your final answer, I don't want to see the factorials anymore. That is your final answer. This one, guys. S plus 3 squared. Very good. This one, go. Is it over? Raised to six. So what is five factorial? 120 over S minus. Yep. So imagine, guys, so and belly. This one, go. Guys, just, you know, formulas. 